Christine. All right, thank you, Chris. And I am here with the beautiful Arden McLaughlin. Ah. Wearing her canary yellow today. I, am. I love that color on you. It looks thank fabulous. You. Thank you. I had to bring the sunshine. Yeah, I had to bring the, yes. We appreciate that. You're welcome. And some three great reads that you're going to recommend. Absolutely. So it's my birthday this week, and I always start to look back at the year. You know, some people do it at New Year's. I do it on my birthday. <laughs> okay. God. But I was thinking, what are some of the best books I've read in the last year? And I wanted to bring them in and share. All right. I will tell you. I read so many good you ones, do. and half of them are lost or lent out to other people, but these are the three of them I found. <laughs> so the first, I have so many books, it's kind of a disaster. Uh, the first one is The Engagement. Now oh. this is a very cool book, sort of a rant, well it is around the diamond industry, so it's okay. got some fact woven in with fiction stories, and really how one ad campaign totally changed the way we look at diamonds today. De Beers absolutely crafted every bit of our messaging behind diamonds. Ah. Some people probably changed their mind about not wanting a diamond. It did not change mine. So ladies, go yeah. ahead and love it. I was going to say, do you have something to announce here with the, the engagement? No. no. Oh, okay. No, I was, girl, there will be a here whole on TV. session. <laughs> Okay. Someone finally pinned me down. Um, the second one is, it's always a joke. The second one is, now this is a very cool author who actually I've interacted with some on Twitter as well. Allison Winscott, The Song Remains the Same. And I love when authors will actually talk back to those that are reading. And I kind of ch chatted with her throughout the series, throughout reading this. This is a woman loses her memory mm -hmm. and the music of her past helps her regain her memory. And that's the only wow. thing that keeps her rooted. And there's some lies, family trying to kind of morph her into who they want her yeah, to be. Yeah. But I love music and I really yeah, love to read this relate book. to that for they sure. Can. Okay. And if you know me at all, you also know I love the publishing industry and a writer. So this is the accidental bestseller mm -hmm. and it goes into the background of getting a book published and sort of some mischiefs that these ladies, one lady can't write, mm -hmm. she has kind of writer's block. And the ladies come together to write a book and a fallout from that. Because Whoa. if you know the publishing industry, your word, your name yes. is, is very important. So some fallout and some friendship. So all very good books. Good deal. None of them involving scandal, which I know you're all shocked Shocking and amazed about that. that you didn't suggest a book that doesn't that involve scandal. That had like some mystery. <laughs> No, not today. Good stuff. Thanks. And happy 20th birthday, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's, that's, that's our funny. story. We're sticking to it. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> next on WBTV News 3 at noon, we're going to have a 